Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcoming you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo Franchise Mode Let's Play. I really like this uh, franchise screen as well, just the little pips that show you exactly where your zoos are located. Just the one zoo so far, so you know, not much of a franchise, but it's not waste any time with a long, arduous introduction. We did that last time already. Let's dive on in. Just want to start with this screen and oh, that's actually nice. It kind of has a little thumbnail of, uh, of your... Anyway, sorry. Let's go ahead and resume. I've got some big plans for today's session. I just want to say really quickly, first of all, thank you all for joining in. I'm glad to see so many people uh, enjoying that first session. Hopefully that enjoyment does continue. Uh, got some, like I said, pretty big plans for today and how I want to proceed with uh, uh, with this wolf, timber wolf uh, exhibit and some plans as well for what we're going to do up next. Lots to do actually today in terms of uh, some decoration work and, and, and getting this uh, habitat fully kind of formed and, and, and functioning, I suppose. Uh, but before I dive into all that, I will really quickly address a couple of comments and uh, just touch on my plans and we'll probably hop on into a time lapse. And I'm glad to hear as well, many of you like the time lapses. Some of you are suggesting maybe rather than talk through them, I can just have some music playing. Some are suggesting a mix of the two uh, methods. We'll see, we'll get kind of more familiar with these time lapses against my first time doing something like that, right? So we'll, we'll get familiar with it and then we'll decide exactly what feels best, I think. And again, based on your feedback, it does make a very big difference and it is very, very appreciated. Uh, so as always, if you want to see more Planet Zoo on this channel, let me know. Leave those likes and comments down below. Um, and if you're not a subscriber, uh, do subscribe if you're interested in seeing more Planet Zoo as well. Uh, and whether you are or aren't a subscriber, just to let you know my plan with this is... Uh, now, I was tempted to do daily episodes, but with the time lapses and the editing and all, that'll I, I think that'll be hard to uh, maintain. So what I'm thinking is we'll do Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, with today's episode being a bit of an outlier because it's coming out on a Monday because I'm too excited to wait. <laughs> so uh, hopefully that works. So that's the plan. Again, if you want to see it and you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I really I don't like harping about that kind of stuff for so long at the intro. So let's move on. Um, Right, so today's focus is going to be getting this up and running first. I don't think that'll take us the full, you know, hour, so to speak. Um, hopefully not, at least. Uh, a lot of it will be time lapse. We'll get some trees down here. Uh, we do need to build fencing. So those of you that were commenting that, uh, hey, party, maybe you want to put some fencing down so fools don't just jump in. Absolutely. Uh, I've got the shape laid out now. I think we'll commit to this shape. I'll smooth the terrain out a little bit more, and then we'll get a nice little custom fence built. And I think the uh, the pathways will require a little bit of um, like fencing and stuff as well. I do want to smooth this out too, maybe just make it dirt so it feels a bit more natural, I suppose. And uh, that'll be, I think, our first order of business alongside, well, we've got our um, water treatment going on over here, which is great. Uh, we want to get our power down as well. Again, I was thinking of trying to get it down over here, or maybe what I'll end up doing is I'll actually create an entire cavern down here. We'll have uh, water treatment and power generation down over here, uh, but we'll also build a, sort of an underground network of um, uh, staff paths. Maybe, maybe. We'll see what works and if it's you know, something that's feasible or even maintainable should be a nice way to kind of hide all of their work. But we're also going to try and cover, you know, some of these tunnels up because I don't really like how they look. So we'll get some rocks and some you know, some nice you know formation going on. I, I think it'll look nice when it's all kind of said and done. Uh, the other thing I should mention is uh, thank you, by the way, for pointing this out. I so I obviously the cooler needs power, which we very nicely. I'm actually happy with how we've tucked it away. Uh, it needs power before it can actually cool stuff down. And uh, yes, there is no snow right now because it's not cold enough for snow, but it didn't occur to me that it was counting this as rock uh, because it's not snow. That's something that, uh, that that didn't occur to me, that snow is at 0%, uh, and once it goes up, rock will come down. Um, yeah, yeah, so... Cool. Good, good, good catch there in the comments. And like I said, I read all the comments, so it's not, uh, it's not just talk. Um, at least all the comments before I, you know... I try to address them uh, in the next episode if they're up there before the next one records. Um, right, so we want to get plants going. They're happy with the coverage right now, but they don't care if we add some more, which is good because I would like to spruce this area up. We'll be researching enrichment, and uh, I also want to get some signage and stuff going. We also got to plan our donation boxes. So I think what I'll do uh, real quick first is keep an eye out on our uh, financial situation. We don't want to... I don't... Um, I, I, I think we have to stay above 5K... Uh, when we open the zoo to make sure we're sustainable. I think anything below that and we won't be in a, in a sustainable situation. So uh, let's go ahead, get power going. We'll get uh, water treatments already up. So get power going, get this area decorated. And um, 
yeah, maybe we'll, we'll leave decorating this for later, but we'll also clean up some of these tunnels, I think. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get to it, shall we? All right, over to time-lapse elite. First things first, we, uh, try to clean these tunnels up a little bit. Really don't like how the holes in the ground look, and, uh, the best way to solve that problem is by buying a bunch of rocks kind of on the expensive side. I mean, that's 10 bucks a piece. Uh, some of these are 20 bucks. I try to avoid the $20 ones, if I recall correctly, but, um... I mean, honestly, I'm kind of happy with how it ends up looking, but um, I wish the terrain could be modified around paths a bit more. I haven't found a way to do it, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is possible, but as soon as you put a path or a building down, you can't, like, force the terrain to sculpt around it. So I had to deal with these rocks, and I'm fine with that. Uh, it still looks nice. I'm not super happy with how this looks, but we'll we'll touch it up later. And then I decided to actually get a nice little sign going as well. Uh, I really like that you have the option of putting these letters down and whatnot. I do wish you could adjust the uh, scale, though. Uh, so you can see I put down a staff sign because it's a staff-only area. It was supposed to say staff only, but I couldn't fit it. I didn't have the room to fit both those words. Uh, so I wish you could scale the lettering, and I don't think you can. At least from what I saw, you can't do it. But pretty happy with how that looked and felt. Again, I want to make it an interesting experience, not just for our customers and our animals, but also for our staff, right? If you work here, yes, you have the joy of working with animals, but I want to try and create it as, as a full-fledged zoo. It might be a bit wasteful in terms of our finances, but uh, you got you got to spend money to make money, I guess, as they say. Anyway, just kind of copied and pasted the, uh, the rock parts over, and now just making some minor adjustments. Again, I, th I think I'll be going in later and making more adjustments uh, just to make things feel a little bit better. I'm not... I'm satisfied with how these areas end up looking. Um, I'm not in love with how these areas end up looking. So I might go in and, and make some tweaks and changes, but I wanted to I wanted to make some progress today. I wanted to open uh, the zoo in today's session, so kind of you know, rushed past that. I also went ahead and got rid of the long grass where the path is because it was bothering me to see the uh, grass like push through the uh, wood paneling, so I got rid of that. And then here we got our final tunnel again, just some minor adjustments. I have to kind of nudge the terrain around. Uh, the terraforming is okay. It's not perfect. It could be a little bit better uh, with the pushing and pulling. I like how much it lets you do, but it could be a little bit more uh, nuanced. Let's put it that way. But pretty satisfied with how these uh, you know entry points look. And then I kind of go down here, push this cavernous area back a little bit more because I really do. I like the idea of tucking away uh, some of these facilities. Now I learned something more on that later, but I like the idea of using this underground uh, staff only area because I think it, it works quite nicely. So uh, that's getting, get, get all that set up. I do want to try and get the water a little bit further up so I kind of adjust that um, because I'm planning some more habitats and whatnot further north, so to speak. So just make a slight adjustment there and then I go ahead and take a look at the options we have for uh, some uh, flora in this, you know, wolf area. I tried to... I mean, it's weird. On the one hand, you could just put one type of tree down and make it feel like it belongs to this one area, but that didn't uh, didn't look right. So I do vary some of the tree types and whatnot. I'm no expert in flora and fauna, right? So I did what felt good, what looked good, I suppose, um, to me at least. And again, I feel like I could probably add more stuff to it, but I also have to be money conscious for our first uh, exhibit as well. But you can see I do get a couple more trees down. Uh, ultimately, I decide that, you know what, I don't actually want to cover this feeding area. This is a nice spot for people to look at the animals. So I end up shifting that down there to their little uh, cavernous area over there. Pretty happy with the vegetation overall. Maybe I'll add more later. Uh, but first things first, let's go ahead and get that fencing down. Um, put down that log first. I don't know. Just it felt like the right thing to do at the time. I don't think I repeat that again, but apart from that, I use these climbing uh, tools to create, or climbing tools, climbing surfaces to create the actual fencing. Now, you can actually go in there with individual logs, which is what I was initially planning on doing, uh, and then kind of giving them different heights and whatnot, make it feel a lot more intricate that way, but it ended up being a cost factor. Each of these cost me 20 bucks a pop, but if I did it with individual logs or even smaller sets of logs, like four sets or, you know, six sets or whatever it might be, those were going to end up costing me 10 to 20 bucks as well. So I'm actually getting more bang for my buck with these options. So while it's less uh, uh, fine control for me, it ends up being a better, uh, a more economically viable option. And that's why I go with it. But just trying to go around the corners over here and, and stay close to the contours of the train as much as possible. Copy and paste a little bit to speed things up and adjust height a bit more. Again, I might 
redo this later uh, when I have some more money to play around with and do some more crazy stuff. But for now, I felt like it stuck to the aesthetic and it looked and, and felt pretty good as well. So pretty happy with how that actually turned out. And I extended it further up as well, but I didn't go all the way around the loop. I didn't think it needed it to be needed to be around the, the cavernous area over there. Uh, and then I decide, you know what? It'd be really cool if I if I came to this zoo. It'd be cool to have some signage. Um, I like signage. And I like this lettering. So, we go ahead and we drop down. Uh, you can actually, you know, with the time lapse, you can't tell, but I was forgetting my alphabet a little bit. Uh, but yeah, Wolf Rock, a nice little sign there. I really like that corner. Uh, I think it's neat. And I also wanted to get this sign down so we could actually remember. Uh, I don't know if we'll have all the names or just the current names, but, you know, the, the animals are the stars of the show. So I thought I'd give them the honor of, uh, of having their names on here as well. And yeah, pretty happy with how this habitat ended up coming together and looking. There's Wolf Rock. All right, back to it, folks. That was a that was a long, well, probably a short time lapse. That was a long time spent in silence, just laying things out. Uh, a little bit of adjusting to do, but I think, like I said, right, I'm trying to balance out the time lapsing versus the actual not time lapsing. So, I, as always, feedback down below. I'm always keeping an eye out and uh, ear out for it if uh, if you somehow manage to say it to me. Uh, but yes, so I'm I'm pretty happy with how things are overall. Obviously, we have to do a little bit of adjusting. You know, get some of these uh, little edges covered up with the terrain and whatnot. We're at about 8k. Um, I probably could do a little bit more to decorate this space, but I want to see how it looks with the snow in place before I add more things to it, because the snow will help feel this uh, help this feel a little less barren, because right now it is literally barren rock. Uh, over here, uh, from whoops, from last session in the comments, there was a name suggestion given for kind of like the uh, I think it was for the zoo as a whole, um, but we've already got like a, a name. For the zoo, so I thought I'd uh, I'd honor that suggestion uh, by putting it as a little sign up here. I actually really like the uh, the typeface that they have for this. I wish this is one of the examples where I wish you could scale as well as place, because as you probably saw, I um I put down the little staff sign over here. I wanted it to say staff only, but there's just not enough room for it to fit nicely. Uh, so it is what it is. But uh, we got Winona and Jackson's names on there as well. So there's Winona and uh, there's Jackson. They will be healthy and happy uh, wolves that will provide us with plenty of wolf pups, I hope. Uh, God, they look so cute. Um... Uh, sorry, it's just, just got distracted by doggos there. Um, but yeah, so, you know, kind of happy with this. I, I wish there was more I could do, and I'm not very happy with the typeface selection, uh, for this stuff. But, uh, hey, you know, it is what it is. We got their names on here. Wolf Rock. I like it overall. Let's go ahead and, yeah, clean some of this stuff up, and then add some, like, donation boxes and stuff. I, I feel like it's coming along pretty nicely. Uh, I again, just kind of, like, experimenting with what, uh, and, and how we can really push things. Like, I would really like to, um, make the, uh... Uh, these barriers in a much more intricate kind of a way. I had a plan to do uh, multiple individual climbing logs that, that we like what we used, except have uh, have a bunch of them that, um, you know, are all of varying heights and stuff. But that would just at, at this stage, that was going to be so expensive. So I decided not to do that uh, at this stage, but maybe maybe for some of the later. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I keep wanting to say installations. Um, because I want these to be like art pieces. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Goddamn. Um, areas, enclosures. There we go. For the for the future enclosures, I think we'll uh, you know we'll, we'll maybe try and do that. Get it like individual uh, pieces and whatnot. But uh, but like I said earlier as well, I do I do need to be conscious of the costs as well. Uh, there are more important things to be spending our money on uh, with regards to you know our conservation efforts and whatnot. So let's just make sure we don't blow it all in. Uh, in decorating fees at the beginning, right? Let's, uh, let's keep a reasonable balance. There we go. We'll kind of tuck them all. There we go. Didn't want the log sticking out. And now we do have, hopefully this fence is the right height. Hopefully it's not too high that people can't see over it uh, at these spots. And hopefully it's not too low that people are still at a threat of diving in. I didn't fence this area off because, you know, paths are never going to be near there. I might fence it off later with some other method or mechanism, use rocks instead. Just got kind of bored of looking at the same uh, wood over and over again. I, I I think so wanted to I don't know break it up a little bit maybe later um and this as well I think I'll adjust the shape a little bit when we go with individual pieces I mean I probably could do uh right now as well just it's the slight undulations that if you follow them I feel like it makes a world of difference with how interesting even just a flat you know wall uh, ends up feeling so it's just like you know just adjusting it ever so slightly sorry I, I should have done this during the time lapse but it just occurred to me uh so I hope you don't mind 
I'm just gonna nudge you over a little bit, buddy. There we go. So with this, I'm not too fussed about slight cracks in, like, small gaps are realistically not traversable uh, by any human, though, you know, I'm sure a baby would find its way through. But at that point, you know what? I blame the parents. Um, it's just... Uh, uh, the process of evolution right at that point um but let's go ahead and smooth this out don't like this little nasty bump over here go ahead and flatten you buddy oh no oh okay or or we just do that instead oh i see what's going on there fair enough fair enough wasting money there should have just undone un undid undone undid <laughs> undid is the word i'm looking for uh go ahead and rotate you over here there we go it's as if it's as if there was never any blemish to begin with all right done yeah okay we'll <laughs> we'll just not zoom in so much all right cool so now we have to make sure we get our donation spaces and stuff set up as well so that people can actually uh well give money and and also we want to make sure that people are able to get educated uh that's the key over here right that's that's the whole point of uh uh of zoos well that's any good zoo that's kind of the point nowadays, is they, they try to educate guests, they try to help with conservation efforts, that's what we're going for over here. So let's go ahead and get guest facilities, I believe is where, no, I always forget where the information boards are placed. Is it habitat? It's not habitat, why would it be in the habitat? It's not facilities, it's not in construction, is it? No, because that's all architecture, signs, and hmm, I'll find it, I'll find it. Uh, donation boxes are here, wait, do we not get info boards until later? Oh, there we go. I guess it's under... Oh, right, viewing devices and speakers. I keep forgetting that's a separate thing of, of its own. So I was thinking what we'd do is we could get a speaker down here. So if you're in the hall, in the in the cave, um, you you hear what you're looking at. You know, actually, I don't like that. What I might do is I might put... Uh, is there the little... Uh, oh, ambient sound, ambient speaker. There we go. Just to create a more intimate or, or engaging experience. Let's get the ambient speaker uh, up over here, just reflecting from... Uh, from up top, because originally I wanted to have educational speakers down here as well, but what I think I want to do is I think I want to get this path kind of splitting off and creating another uh, area over here, or rather, I I'd like to create, I think, two areas, one over here and one over here, and what I'd do is down over here in this very same tunnel, you'd be able to get a window into Exhibit B and Exhibit C as well, so I don't want the educational speakers to, uh, you know, go over top of each other and, and get all jumbled and things like that. So let's go ahead and get... Uh, uh, what can we do over here? Insects, jungle at night, rainforest flashing about in the swamp. Nothing here is really right. Maybe maybe splashing about in the swamp? We'll, we'll see. We'll see if that works. I don't know if it'll actually give us audio. Um, but we definitely want to get some education stands and boards and stuff going on. So one with legs. You're, I'm guessing, a blueprint? Yeah, you're a blueprint that comes with the... TV on top of it already, so might as well, I don't think I'm gonna do, or you know what, I could just slap these on directly against the walls, and that should work as well. Um, we've got a really good viewing spot over here, so let's go ahead and drop one over here, I think. Okay. Uh, we'll get, I'd like to get another one over here, because it's like right next to the, uh, the spot, so it'd be a good idea, I think. Um, I want to give it some room to breathe, obviously. Let's get one over there. Maybe one in this corner over here, or over onto this side over here. I'm trying to find the right gaps here, right? You're able to see from there over here, you should be able to see as well. Watch them maybe eating and whatnot, and, and you pay, and, and, and you get educated on what they eat, and their diets, and stuff like that. And then, um, maybe over here we get another one. I wonder if this is close enough to actually engage with. It should be. I imagine it's radius-based, so it should be close enough to engage with. And then down in our tunnel... Whoa. Whoop, there we go. Down in our tunnel, we could have uh, a stand right in the middle. We could also put it on either side. Uh, we put it in the middle. Kind of huddle around it. I think that works. I think that would work. We'll see. We might want to put it on either side instead. We'll see. But let's go ahead and drop you in there. I hope people are able to read that from up on high. It would make sense, but we'll, we'll see. We'll find out. Uh, and then let's go ahead and get our donation boxes. So, first of all... Um, tell me to put them at the entrance. Right now, let's go ahead and put one over here. Hopefully that one is relatively successful. It was a lot of effort to get that one in place. <laughs> with a tunnel and all. Hopefully that works. Let's get another one over here. I think people are able to reach into the grass. 
one over here. Yep. And then one over here. There we go. There we go. It should be good. And we could change these colors. Oof. I mean, brown and blue obviously doesn't work. Let's see. Go with you in the middle there. And then you would be which one? This one over here? Yeah, you know what? That, that works for me. That works for me. Again, just trying to... I mean, I don't know if I'll be this particular all the way through. But uh, for now, at least. Go ahead and add some variety over here. Swip, swap them around a little bit. And you as well. And I mean, the top species donation for these, I should hope, <laughs> is the um, is going to be the Timberwolf. I'm really excited for this. I, I think uh, now we can actually open it up because we'll actually start making money as well. Let's make sure everything's in place. We've got the donation boxes, right? We've got power. These things need to actually provide education. We've got research happening. Um, so that's good and helpful. Let's go ahead and get you providing education as well. And we are at 7.5k, so... I said five was my, like, bottom limit. We're very close to it. I said it was my bottom limit, remember. I didn't say, like, yeah, that should be our target. That is our bottom limit. So we're 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 getting there. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. So this is all done. Boards are up. Uh, donation thingies are up as well. That's the official industry term thingy. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about that. I could get, like, benches and stuff as well, but I, I think all that can wait right now. We need to get people coming through and, uh, and donating. I'm not the biggest fan, actually, of this fencing. I'm going to leave it as is for now, but uh, we might want to swap that around. So, power is done. Uh, water is done. This should all get cold and chilly, and that'll be great. All of our wolves will be happy. Let's go ahead and play for a second to make sure they can't climb out, because you kind of have to let it play for a bit. And I believe that updates their... Uh, uh, Info here. Where are we? Habitat. Yeah, they're not able to climb out, so that's good. Enrichment, we're doing research for. And uh, I do hope that power is coming through here now. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? There you are. Yep, operational. We are dropping to negative 15, which should be good enough for our lovely um, timber wolves. A, B, C, D. I know my alphabet. I think timber wolf. There we go. Uh, where are we? Negative 8 to 29. To negative 29. So that's that's good. That, that works. And we've, we've got them all covered for, like, land requirements and everything as well. So I'm very happy with uh, this overall area. Let me just do a quick check here. Yeah, we're all good. Snow's gonna come through. We're all good. Nothing they don't like over here. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. The lifespan is pretty good as well. We've got a... We've got a fair few years on them. Now, longevity is a little low on both of them, if I recall correctly. So they better get to work fast. I do not like Jackson... This is a situation here. Uh, low welfare, low welfare. They'll be, they'll be happy, that's fine. Oh, that's cool. This is a nice way to... Species fertility is below average. Ugh. I mean, I hope this works out. If not, we might have to replace Jackson, which would be sad, but... But one can hope. One can hope. They'd be quite fertile, potentially. Immunity might be on the lower side. I really love the whole genetics angle that they've put into it and stuff. But anyway, I think we're good to open our zoo. So, ladies and gentlemen, time for the grand opening. Let's go ahead and, uh, again, we're going to let people in. I always feel like you should be able to click on this to open or close the zoo and get this, basically. Uh, we have spent 32000 Holy. All right. Open it up. We've got money to pay our staff. Uh, $6 for an adult, $3 for a child. I think it's worth that fee. Honestly, this is already much more luxurious than, uh, than a $3 entry fee. Um... Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We got the staff we need, we got the vendors we need. Animal welfare will go up. Zoo rep is not that great, but that'll be fine. Cool, let's go ahead and, yeah. Time for the grand opening, folks. Get your fireworks ready. Boom. Now. <laughs> that comes the real, real work. I mean, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed doing that. We'll, we'll be able to spend more money soon. Hopefully we're not... Oof, we're losing money fast. 7496.54... Okay, all right. Hey, people are coming through. People are coming through. Those are tickets being paid for. What are these guys saying right now? Zoo tickets are overpriced. Give me a break. Oh my god. Okay, they don't uh, they don't appreciate my zoo pricing. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Listen, if they're all complaining, I must be doing something wrong. Let's drop it to five. Feel bad for the uh, people who came in first. Why do you say time to go home already? 
Inspector arriving in 23 months. We got time. Adopt exhibit species. We'll do that soon. Souvenir profits and guest numbers. All right. Well, we'll get to 300 guests. Uh, and right, that's the uh, Bengal tiger thing. So people are flowing through. Looks like we're flowing through okay. I will need to get washrooms set up as well. Might actually want to set up washrooms like over here and over here. Is something I was thinking about. Um, uh, toilet? Yeah. And we'll make them look pretty as well, I think. And the reason why I want to put them up uh, over here is because over here it's right by the entrance, and that's kind of meh, you know, not 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 that neat. Uh, we'll drop them soon, though. I want to see how people feel overall. Mm, zoo tickets are overpriced. These guys are the ones that didn't like zoo tickets, but these ones came through. Zoo ticket price is fair. Okay, cool. So five, I guess, is the sweet spot right now. Fair, 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 fair. People are coming through. We have 74 guests right now. All right, you're coming through. I want to see how they interact with this space. I want to see if people actually go down to the cave. Like, the, this person here... Uh, where are we? Oh, no, your staff. I don't care about you. I mean, I, I do care about you. That's not what I meant. I care about my guests, so I want to see how they interact with these spaces. I want to make sure they're able to uh, see everything. The snow is coming through. Let's go ahead and add some more um, snow, though. Got to make sure we get another cooler down over here. Right, cool that space off. And we'll probably want another one down over here. Where is that? Cooler. It's operational, yep. Drop it down to negative... 17. Our people are all coming in over here, that's good. Seems to be a popular spot over here. No one seems to be enjoying this awesome cave experience. Oh, there we go. No, keep going. Keep going. Zoo tickets are, could do with expanding a little. There are no toilets in the zoo. I should really get those toilets down, shouldn't I? I imagine quite a few people are going to start complaining about that soon. Uh, makes me cross when we don't tuck the facilities out of the way. Well, what, you can see it from there? Or not see it, but experience it from there? Uh, the way facilities work is um, negative impact on guests. Oh, that's silly. Damn, that's dumb. This is under them. They shouldn't be able to experience this. Oh, it's not low enough. Oh, that's frustrating. Because that will ruin the experience on this side. Okay, fair enough. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, we'll have to do something about that. I'll, I'll figure... I'll, I'll have to figure that out. For now, though, I want to see... Okay, we've got snow coming through. We need more coolers. Get a cooler over here. And let's go ahead and get another one. Um, over here. And what I'd like to see, actually, as well is... Um, let's go ahead and turn this off. Where is my... Special effects? Can I get the, the waterfall happening? Waterfall. I'm not going to spend the money on it right now, because it is kind of pricey, actually. Uh, but I want to see... Yeah, okay, it's because I wasn't playing. It's going to look neat, though, once we get the waterfall in place. It'll look nice. This is all cooling down. Hopefully our wolves are having a good time. Welfare is on its way... Up, enrichment is the only problem. Habitat's perfect. Social is okay. Nutrition, mm, okay. Ooh, hey, I heard a donation. Okay, 220. Let's go ahead and get some washrooms and stuff going. Because otherwise it's going to be a problem real fast. Uh, and uh, I don't want people to leave because they got to use the washroom. That'd be a shame. Quite the shame. Let's go ahead and put it uh, closer to this side, because, you know, I should hope you'd be able to travel from here to here after having driven here without needing to use the washroom. So let's go ahead and drop you over here. And on the other side as well. Might have to get rid of this grid snap, because it's creating a huge gap. So exit that. And here. All right, cool. We're going to decorate it as well. I think I want it to look neat. Fancy. Um, this is tiny. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead and get... Uh, you just don't trip over this on your way in, I guess. There we go. There we go. Get this flipping in this way. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Liking it. Uh, what else can we do? What else can we do? We can go ahead and get some IV stuff. No, that's just straight up blocking your entrance at that point. Uh, I don't want to overdo it either. This is just a toilet, right? Let's, let's be real. This is just a toilet. Let's go ahead and see what the logs are like. Should be able to get this one. That one's way too big. This one. Feels very chunky. 
We could instead use the climbable one as well, because those ones are, are thinner. One meter. Okay, there we go. Get you in there. Get you in there, there we go. Move one in there. And... Whoops. Get you in there, okay. I wonder if these are the right size. Feeling like it. Yeah, feeling like it. Cool. Now again, I, I could time lapse this. Let me know if you would have preferred me to have time lapse this, but like I like I said previously, I'm just trying to find the right balance between time lapse and not time lapse, basically. Uh, so let's go ahead and drop you down over here. And you can actually maybe move in a little bit. Nope, not down, but in a little bit and up a little bit. Get a bit of a, a rounded kind of a thing going on over here. Okay, and then exit that. Duplicate you. Control X for duplication. Uh, and let's rotate like so. There we go. Again, just trying to nail some of this stuff early so that in the future it can just be out of habit, basically. No. There we go. Like to pick this, please. There we are. Pull you down to here. And out of habit, I mean, like, it's just quicker for me to execute in the future. Okay, good stuff. Duplicate you. Over there. Exit this group. Go into this one, please. Duplicate you over to here. Cool. And I could actually get one of these or something going. Or up top. You know what? That's probably way too big. It's almost certainly way too big. Why am I still doing this? Oh, you know, actually, you know what? It might not be. That's why I'm still doing this. Because you never know. Will you try? Up. Uh, all right, all right. It's uh. It's getting there. It's getting there. Again, like, I'd, I'd love to spend, like, countless hours on every single piece. I really would. Uh, but I also want to make sure we're making some decent progress uh, to the opening acts of this, you know, zoo experience for our guests. Let's go ahead and drop you down. We add a little bit. And let's rotate you inwards just slightly. All right. There we go. Should I, I, sorry, I should have time lapsed this. I can see now, but we're almost done now, so starting a time lapse now would be silly. There we go, that's a lot better. Cool. So that is what our washroom is gonna look like. Now, can I actually duplicate everything over here, except for you, and the washroom itself? Good, good. Go ahead and group you, duplicate you. There we go, cool. I like this. Makes life a lot easier. I mean, I could just save it as a blueprint, and anytime I want to do a washroom, this is exactly how it'll look. It is an option. Go ahead and rotate you a little bit more. Okay. There we go. There we go. Cool. Now, hopefully the guests are happy with these provisions. Gotta get the height right as well. There we go. Okay, awesome. I think that's about right. Looks like it. Done. Done. Oh my god, our financial situation is terrible. We've overdone it. We gotta make money fast. No more crazy expenses until... Uh, I mean, again, worst case scenario, I can just sell some stuff, right? If I need to. Uh, but right now, we're losing money fast. <laughs> Okay, we've made $895. That research is complete. Good stuff. What did you research? Timberwolf. Discovered three items. Keep researching the Timberwolf, and let's go ahead and make some enrichment stuff. Um, huh, I'm actually kind of worried about, about our financial situation right now. I'm kind of really concerned about our financial situation. Let's see. What, 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 what? Are people not buying stuff? They're buying stuff. Okay. Not buying anything information for those prices. The prices are too high over here. Okay. 
I mean, we could, I mean, if I just listen to every customer complaint, I'll never make any money. It's a hometown already, ticket price is good, Zoo could use some expanding, price is fair. How are the people, oh. Okay, this is annoying. I gotta get rid of these facility buildings. Alright. We're gonna have to move those pronto. That's really a bit of a bummer. Okay, we'll, we'll do a temporary fix for now. We'll do a temporary fix for now, because I do need these to be close still. Let's go ahead and uh, move you... Move you up here for now. I will get far enough. Um, <laughs> really have to lift it? Come on. I, I can't do the, the middle ground unless I... No, I cannot do the middle ground. Okay, this is annoying. Um, Yes, I could dump you over here. You'll probably annoy these people still. Mm, how else could I go about this? The other option is to go way out. Build a path way out. At that point, though, will we get power here? And if I come in over here, I'll definitely bother uh, people right at the entrance. Could maybe do this. We'll get a little annoyed over here, but then they'll be fine. Okay. Just temporarily. That's... I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bummed about that. Thought I was... Thought I had a good plan. Thought I had a solid plan. Okay, make sure that water stays within... our reach. And let's see what that does for zoo... Uh, for, for people's... negative impact. Yeah, see this, this area... people are not happy with, but at least once they get into... This area, they're not bothered anymore. Let's let's try it temporarily again. It's a temporary solution. Let's see if it works. This is really unfortunate. But what's more unfortunate is our financial situation. Now, how are you? Why are you uneducated? Are you not able to read? I've seen bigger and better zoos. Three star view at most. Okay. Why don't you go to some of the more interesting locations then, folks? How do I get to the Timberwolf? Facility buildings are ruining my experience. Yeah, you don't say. They're ruining my experience too right now. Yeah, I think I really need to dig that hole or something. Do something here. Hmm. Interesting. People do not like the views or anything. What's the deal here? Low on cash, you don't say. Folks, we're in trouble. Are we? The 460... No one's coming over that way. I'm wondering if the uh, if this needs to be put onto a board instead. And what's the deal over here? No one's come down there just yet. Fair enough. Oh, okay. We're making a bit of a profit. We're making a bit of a profit. I'm trying to avoid spending money right now. I'm not comfortable with this number. Two facility broken down. What? What? Let's get it fixed up. Which other facility is broken down? Oh no, that's just the one. <laughs> the other option, uh, the other notification is that we're low on cash. Which I'm now painfully aware of. Um, hometown, let's get out of here. You know what? I think we need to, um... Slow our roll a little bit. <laughs> Trying to figure out... Okay. I got... 2,200. I do not want to take a loan right at the beginning, but we could do if I have to. There's some good loans out there. That's a lot of interest. Should be able to pay it back quickly if I needed to. Yikes. That's a really nice loan. Four to 40 years. Just trying to figure out, like, if we created an exhibition space um, with just the, uh, just, just some insects and stuff. Like, let's see. Well, what do we have over here, right? Amazonian stuff, boa constrictors, I'd like to get some stuff that is fitting of this area. I don't know if we have... Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. Uh, I'd rather not start with a cockroach. <laughs> Let's see. What have we got? What have we got up in the area? I wish you could filter this. I don't think you can. I wish you could filter this by uh, region as well. 
Grizzly bears are not exhibit animals. Uh, I, I think we'll probably have to go... A little bit of an incorrect desk, um... Geography for, for our first exhibit animals. I think I spent way too much money on decorating things, folks. You're just a timber wolf. Titan beetles down there. Yeah, I don't think, um... I mean, I guess I could do, like, the, the diamondback uh, rattlesnake and whatnot. Yellow account does all the way down there. This could be our Americas section rather than our very limited North America, like, North North America only section. Goliath bird eater. Gila monsters. Sure. Giant desert hairy scorpion, if we can get some of those. All right, okay, let's, um... Oh, man gonna get really haphazard really fast uh i could pull people out this way and create a little like plaza like area or i could put it right over here when you walk through you get some creepy crawlies that you get to see right away um just to welcome you into our <laughs> into our zoo sure let's uh oh man I mean, it'll be it's temporary i keep telling myself that it's temporary i don't like it but i gotta do it because otherwise we end up in a situation like this um, where are we? Habitat? No. Construct facilities? Yeah. Oh, there's stuff we can't afford. Oh, we can't even afford these? Whew! That's not good. How much longer do I operate at a deficit over here? Uh, I could change salaries. But I feel like salaries are already, um, low as they are. Let's see. Train staff up. Okay. Salary affects happiness. Don't know if I want to adjust salaries too much. How do I... How do I find you? Can't double click on you. you oh, there you are. Okay. What's your happiness like? Ugh. God, that's not... It's not good. I already lowered everyone's um, salary as much as I possibly can. What about our vendors? Can I not select you? I should be able to select the vendors as well, I think. Let's see. Vendor, vendor, vendor. Surely I can reduce your salary. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. Alright, so that's what they expect to be paid. <laughs> Damn it. What can I do here? That's the mechanic fi fixing this up. Uh, I mean, I might need to take a loan, but if I take a loan, I'll feel like I'm in a pretty nasty spot. I could push these further up over here. It'll annoy people in this area, but maybe that'll be better than what we're getting right now. It'll be trouble for water. Jeez. Okay, let's see. We move you. Up here for some reason. Oh, it wants to connect that side. Come on now, what's your problem? Ah, it's because it's like stuck to that grid. There we go. I could put you over here. Right in the middle here. Could get rid of you. Yeah, make that five to five bucks. Make that money. Uh, you, where do we move you? This is a problem. Like, I could spread these out a little bit so it's not so densely packed. I could go out of my way a little bit. And like, what's your radius? Your range is 60 meters. Try to move you. I move you all the way out to here, let's say. Right, that would still work. So maybe we do try that. Maybe we try to expand this a little bit. Get it out of the way a little bit. Come on, get me underground. I hate when a good idea is actually a terrible idea. <laughs> we got this, we got this. There we go, keep going. I'm gonna get out so I can actually see where I'm uh, headed. Right. There we go. I kind of want to follow this curve. Get us up to there. That should put us in a safe spot, I think. Oh, crap. There we go. Uh, cancel you, and let's go ahead and cancel you. Let's go ahead and move you down here. 
Gotta make this work. Okay, looks like... Is that reachable? I don't know if it's reachable, but it's operational, which is what matters more right now. Breaks down, we'll deal with that problem when the time comes. Okay, done. That should be out of mind, out of sight, out of mind, as they say. Uh, water is reaching. Yes, we have... Where is negative impact? All kind of set aside. I mean, I could move my power down there as well now that I've done the expansion. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. Hopefully, though, this helps a little bit. I like seeing that green. <laughs> I like seeing that green. Just needs to stay green. Now, these guys, are they not getting educated? Timberwolf looks bored. Yeah, it does look bored, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and get some enrichment going on. Uh, Timberwolves like climbing? Sprinkler. Hold on now. Hold on now. What do you like? Enrichment. That's interspecies. I want regular... Yeah, I guess they like sprinklers. Okay, I will get you a sprinkler. Um... Get you one over here, I guess. Bring you your food. You can have some fun over here. Get another one close to your habitat, like near the water. Yeah. Cool. Oh god, I'm so nervous. Alright, sprinklers are active, yep. That should hopefully make these wolves a little bit happier. Okay, price is fair, facility... I mean, these are some of the, the older guests. We're at 1895, 1875. Guys, we're losing all of our money. This is it. This is how it all ends. I can take a loan. It's okay. If I take a loan... I mean... <laughs> be a little worried about how that goes. Energy, hunger, thirst, toilet, education. You know what? I feel like these education boards aren't working. I can't. Let's see. Education. Yeah, I just feel like they can't uh, reach. Like they can't read it. Because everyone who's coming through, their uh, their education is low. Oh, reading information board. Okay. Was well, that not good enough for you? <laughs> that not good enough for you? All right, eighteen fourteen seventeen ninety four. I gotta figure out what to do, because we're about to close, I think. It is 18... It's 6.54. When do we close again? We close at 11, so there's some time yet. Overall, guest happiness is 64%. Zoo reputation isn't that great. Guest happiness is okay. Marketing. Can I... How do I spend money on marketing? There you go. Spend, like, almost all of our money on this. Cereal box adverts newspaper adverts. I might need to take a loan. I'm gonna... I'm tempted to speed time up a little bit. Oh, oh, okay. Hey, this is... this is a good happy green right now. I think it helps that the stuff has been taken away. These guys look like they are... things that Information Center 1 cost too much. And this is causing some issues. So let's go ahead and move this. Um, move you... all the way... whoops going down. There we go. Where are you? Exit the group. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. And drop you down over here. Okay. Things are connected to you. You're still working. Good stuff. Oh, great. Now it's raining. Fantastic. Well, hey, hopefully people will buy umbrellas. That research is complete. Excellent. That's some more enrichment stuff, I imagine. Four items for one species. Uh, I guess we can stay focused on timber wolves for now. We're at 50, less than 1,500. Oh, yes, take cover in the cave. See the interesting experience. Oh, sweet, people are actually down here. Yeah, taking cover. As are the animals, I imagine. Well, if I can get down there again. Yeah, we got our wolf down over here. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dark. 
Oh, Winona, taking a little nap. People are down in here, getting a good view, I should hope. Raising some money down here. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, good stuff. I think moving those... Oh, look at that. See, this is this is a good spot. This is a good view. Immediately, we've made 950 as soon as people came down here. And now we're making money. All right. Well, hold on. <laughs> Let's not get too excited. Come on, party. You, you know better than that. You know better than to jinx yourself like that. Um, okay, ticket price is good. Facility buildings are gone now, so that should uh, be better. In bigger and better zoos. Yeah, no, no kidding. Gonna need an umbrella. Yes, there we go. There we go. Give me that money. VIP guest. VIP guest. What are you, an inspector? Oh, it's a visiting player. Well, hello. Hello, VIP guest visiting player. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Damn, you get conservation credits for just saying hi? That's cool. That'll be helpful. Yeah, there we go. People are buying umbrellas, I should hope. Now, can I actually check what our deal is over here? Oh. Oh. You can actually improve the scenery rating of a staff room. That's cool. Customer served. Revenue earned, 130. All right, that's not bad. It's not bad. We're 2200. We're starting to make money, guys. <laughs> We're starting to make some money. All right, I feel like I should probably get some lights going or something. It's awfully dark in this uh, zoo of ours. Don't know if people can see. I mean, I actually would rather people go down there than come up uh, anywhere else. Why do you sound so sad? Guess I could get you some more toys and stuff. Come on, buddy. Don't be so sad. Um, let's see. Habitat. Dog ball. Sure. Hell yeah. Let's get a dog ball for you. Go ahead and get this dog ball down over here. And let's go ahead and get some lights in, I think, as well. Oh, God. Where'd all of our money go? <laughs> Wasn't that just a hundred bucks? Alright, they're eating now. Ooh. I'm, uh, not too scared. We can take a long. Inspector arriving in 15 months. Give me a break. <laughs> Stop applying that pressure. Low on cash. What, what does it consider low on cash? Just any time, I guess, profits are in the negatives. We made 4,500 in how long? Four months? Let's see, what are we looking at here? Donations are good, ticket sales, shop income, I wonder if we should add... No, it's all the info kiosks, no one's eating or drinking, because I guess they're not staying here for long enough to actually need to eat or drink. So this is actually, I'm wondering if I should get rid of some of these vendors um, who we're not really getting any help from in terms of people's uh, <laughs> usage. Alright, umbrellas, hopefully you guys bought them here. No donations over there. This one's got 740. No donations over here either. 120, okay. Yes, go to the cave. Go to the cave. Money-making cave. 1750. Yeah, it's not bad. These guys look like they're having a good time. I wish I could get up to a food shop. Well, you can. You can, buddy. There's a chief beef right out here. Is there nobody here right now? No, there we go. Okay, there's someone here. How much money have you made us? Like nothing. You're just about to serve some customers. There we go. 28 bucks made. We're at 500. Oh my god. Oh my god. This isn't good. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and make some money, folks. Let's go ahead and delete. This path right here. Get that 750. Keep us floating. Um... So I'm trying to figure out what I should do. I, I think what I should do is get a loan. Get a nice, fat, like... 50k loan going to be expensive. I'll have to make much wiser use of that money. If I get a nice 50k loan, then I can put that money down towards some of the exhibits. Uh, get some exhibits laid out over here, or even just over here right at the entrance. Uh, do some more simple exhibits in this area, and uh, and hope that that draws more people in, get some more donations, and then we can make those uh, exhibits more complicated. Now, I can destroy... Well, I say destroy. I can sell some of these platforms away, because these were like, what, 20 bucks a piece? Like, if I get rid of you, I get 15 bucks back. If I get rid of you, 
It's another 15 bucks. It's not, you know, a lot, but it's, it's something. If these animals start having a better time as well. This rain is not helping me at all. Bet research is complete. More... Enrichment stuff, I imagine, but... Oh! Big, big chunk of cash came in out of nowhere. I'll take it. I will take it. <laughs> that fluctuating is making me very, very nervous, because I'd like to... I'd very much like to get some more enrichment stuff going on for these animals, but um, if it keeps fluxing like that, I don't know how I feel. Uh, right now, at least. Okay, well, how do you guys feel? You just went through that experience. View is okay. That view is okay. That view is fantastic. I'll give you that nonsense. Nice weather for ducks, but terrible for the rest of us. Well, I'm sorry. I can't. I'm not God here. And now it's snowing. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I guess it is December. Well, geez, I don't know what to do about snow. Like, I could get um, heating down, I suppose. Uh, you are able to put down heating, and it will affect... It will affect, um, the, uh, the terrain. So if we drop some heating down over here, maybe. 50 bucks, right? Drop some heating over here. Make it a nice cozy cave. Again, I want people down to that cave. Because that's a great view. And look at that. That actually looks beautiful. <gasps> oh, 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 offspring. Really? When? Yes, babies. Do March of year two. That's very soon. That's very soon. Babies are going to help us so much. Babies are going to help us so much. Um, because it's just, babies are, people love it. And people will come to see the new babies. Like, I remember when the Toronto Zoo got a new baby uh, pygmy hippo. It was just like, yo, we got to go now. Because people want to see it. Oh, another new VIP guest. Well, hello. You're on YouTube now. Uh, all right, this is, I'm feeling a little bit better. People are getting some education. I could get a speaker out somewhere. These guys just came through, so I don't know why I'm looking at them. Uh, freezing out here, making my teeth chatter. Yeah, I should maybe get some more heating going. Uh, or just keep driving people into the, the cave there. Alright, you know what? Feeling a lot better right now. Feeling, feeling, not comfortable, but better. Better. Folks, with that said though, I think... With one look at our adorable little puppers here. Well, they're not a pupper, but you know what I mean. I mean, this, this thumbnail is going to be the same as, as the last one. I was like, let's get a nice uh, thumbnail shot, but it's like exactly the same as the last one. Nonetheless, I've only got the one animal to showcase right now. So that's what I'm doing, showcasing the one animal right now. I mean, we got, eh, we can do a slightly slightly different shot. If you if you pick your head up, there we go. Don't yawn. Don't yawn. That's not, that's not going to... Looking for high click-through rates over here. I need people to click on this thumbnail. Don't yawn. <laughs> Anyways, folks, this is where we're going to call it a session. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, a bit more frantic since we've actually opened up our zoo and uh, the money situation didn't look so hot. Uh, looked about as hot as the weather right now. This is feeling really familiar, though. Toronto's going to look like this pretty soon. Um, but yeah, you, I, I, I think we've uh, bounced back okay from the opening mishaps of overpricing our zoo and... Uh, Having our uh, facilities underground over here not be far enough away, which is a little bit of an oversight on my part. Uh, but I think with all that done, people are a bit happier now. Zoo feels pretty small. That's fair. I think we take... If we do get a loan, I can do two things. I want to know your thoughts in the comments. I can do one of two things. One, I could take a loan and build two new habitats here and here, or even one new. Maybe we could get some grizzly bears or something like that. Or we could... Um, take a smaller loan and get some exhibits going on out over here. I don't know how I feel about that. That feels too, like, cash cowy. Uh, or, or, or. I hope that the pup uh, brings in enough attraction, I suppose. Brings enough people in to check out our, uh, to check out our zoo. You know, the one, the one animal zoo. The one species zoo, I, sh I suppose I should call it. Anyways. At least we accomplished this beautiful sign. Really happy with that. Folks, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly, unlike this park. And a big old thanks to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.